Sarah Waymeyer says during the Waukesha Christmas Parade, she realized something was wrong the moment the music stopped. Some of the kids stopped playing. I thought, why, why aren't they playing? And that's when the screaming started as I turned around and he started driving through the van. She watched the SUV pass within inches of her, then heard gunfire as a police officer shot at the vehicle. The kids were running, but we had several still on the ground. And then a police officer came running and said, shots fired, everybody run. A lot of the students were injured and not able to move and just laying on the street and they felt so helpless as they were there. Waymeyer says the rest of the band scattered into different storefronts. Just checking in the store, how are you guys doing next door? How are you guys doing? on the streets. She tells me a dozen Waukesha West Band members received medical treatment and that doctors said some of their instruments actually protected their bodies from serious harm. 12 News was there as a final student returned home from the hospital Tuesday. The support overwhelming. Comfort dogs, counselors, flowers, and handwritten notes from around the country. Most of all, support from each other. When the students have their study halls, they like to come in here and just read the letters. Waymeyer says in addition to talking about what happened and going through counseling, part of their healing process has been practicing together as a band again. For me personally, this is something that somebody did to us. And so it makes me feel extra strong about wanting to get back to normal. I have a really special honor that I get to be at their side to walk them through this. In Waukesha, Caroline Reinwald, WYSN 12 News. Those letters mean so much. The band's next performance is set for December 15th, and band members will also participate in a cookie drive fundraiser at their school tomorrow.